Hey guys, Moshi Moshi, this is the Pariah and I've been meeting you after a while. Today, we're going to discuss 5 reasons why you should play Blanco's Block Party. Alright, so the number one reason why you should play Blanco's Block Party is pretty simple. Because this is the next generation of gaming that has come to us and it's based on blockchain gaming. So every asset that you own inside the game, most of them are termed as NFTs. If you do not know what NFTs are, NFTs in basic layman terms are in-game items that will stay on the blockchain, which is on the digital platform for a longer time than your physical toys or any of the purchases that you've done inside games which are not NFTs. NFTs also let you own the asset in its purest form because that asset is tied up to you with your wallet address and are always there on the blockchain for you to keep. So with this, the other part that happens is you can always trade your NFTs, your in-game items with other players and earn value out of it. So it really teaches you monetization, which means you can earn more with your in-game assets by holding them or by trading them with other players. Or also the best part about blockchain gaming is you can keep it for the future, right? Because most of these assets will not be available in the future. They will be available only on the secondary market where you could purchase them from other players like yourself. Number two reason to play Blanco's Block Party is purely because of its aesthetic design, the sound and the way the game comes into existence. It's a mere imagination of a toy maker that comes into reality or it comes into life. Uh, all this happens in a metaverse where the toys come alive and they start playing together. So it's a very nice setting for specifically kids who are growing up to play video games and who want to have a safe gaming environment wherein there is no blood or any of those uh, hardcore items inside games. So this would be a good chance for anyone entering into gaming, anyone who is younger at age and for parents to help their kids learn about gaming. The third reason in my opinion why you should be playing Blanco's Block Party is because most of the maps inside the game are generated or created by players like you and me. They are basically made with the objects that the game development team has made available. So you can build your own map into various parts such as racing, shooting or time trials. I've also personally earned a Blanco inside Blanco's Block Party by just creating a map in a contest and winning that contest. So I got the Blanco Frostbite by Dan Leash in the winter challenge that was given by Mythical Games during last winter and it was super fun. So the building element inside Blanco's Block Party also teaches you how to be a good level designer. If you're looking forward to earn a spot in the gaming industry and you want to know how gaming maps are done, what is the aesthetic behind it, what is the design element that goes behind it and how do you design maps for a better engagement and happiness of the player. So you're going to learn all of that inside Blanco's Block Party by creating your own maps, testing it out with the number of players that are online every day. And also you can reach out to streamers such as Chavio and have those maps being played by them and their communities. So this way you'll get a positive feedback or any sort of feedback that will help you grow as a Blanco's builder and also as a level designer. So that's one of the reasons why you should play the game. The fourth reason for you to play the game inside Block Party is because here, unlike other games, you can play to earn. That's right, you heard it right. There are a lot of avenues inside the game wherein you play the game and earn NFTs. Why am I telling you all this? Because it's absolutely free and you should take advantage of it if you're looking forward to get in the crypto gaming sphere or the future of gaming is what we all know as. The Party Pass is another avenue where you can earn the pay to earn Blancos. Also, you can take part in the contest that Medical Keeps hold hosting every year. There are a couple of uh, contests that happens, mostly seasonal contests, Valentine's Day, New Year's, um, then 
there was one particular tour of the blanco called the finder of lost souls so there were a couple of competitions and contests that took place um for blanco's block party and the giveaways were a blanco itself so these are the ways you can earn these blancos for free and then trade it on the secondary market to earn some real cash or cryptocurrency and the fifth reason why you should play blancos block party is because all these blancos are designed by super artists who are into vinyl toys design all over the world so you are going to get a masterpiece from each of these artists as a digital collection and increase the value that you have for your blancos on the shelf so currently i'm just going to quickly show you my shelf so you'll get to know better so now we're loading onto our shelf in blancos block party and i'll quickly show you how the shelf looks like So this is my shelf it's short and sweet I've got uh blankos that I like I'll quickly run them through you so this is the new blanco and this is the trickster these two you get free inside the game um I've opened one blanco that's called finder of lost souls I've leveled him up pretty well and I've also matched this blanco up with the last party pass team that we had and these are all the blankos that I own If you look at cabinetman.exe this is a blanco I earned out of the party pass I waited to um, unlock this blanco for a special issue number which is 786 which is a good number in my opinion Even for the clown I got the number 786 so these are the two blancos with the same number and I really like my shelf out here My favorite blanco out of all of these is Taco. He's from the Founders Edition. I used to play a lot with this blanco earlier. Now my main blanco is Finder of Lost Souls. So if I show you this blanco, Finder of Lost Souls, you'll come to see that JPK is John Paul Kaiser is the name of the artist who's created this blanco. So this way the blanco has a lot of value to it. Other creators who I really like are the creators of Taco, Majo, Nijiko. The artist name is Junko Mizuno. I'm going to link Junko's uh, art collection link uh, or her Instagram page link in the description below so do check her out. She's one of my favorite uh, artists for Blanco's block party. And that's basically my shelf for Blanco's block party and that was reason number 5. is collect all these amazing blankets from various artists around the world have a collection to yourself it can be a personal collection or it can be a collection that you want to sell a, a piece by piece depending on when you want to sell it when the market values are demanding for that particular blanco uh, in future there're going to be an event called gem rush where you'll have to mash uh, more than 3 blankets together 3 or 4 blankets together to create a unique blanco so that time all these blankos are going to be super useful and are going to be needed in the future so i suggest you start collecting a blanco each month each month mythical uh, makes more than one blanco release ideally it's through party pass and also on the store you can choose which blanco you want to collect either the free blanco from the party pass or you want to pay a minimum amount of $10 to $20 to purchase a blanco that you desire so that's all about blanco's block party this is your boy the pariah and i'm going to sign off today take care bye